<clears throat> How do y'all think that went? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It was painful. I, I, I'm hot over here, boy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like it that. I think, I think it, that it depends so well. on how you see things and how you take things because we can't keep on saying this is how it was. This is how... Different generations think differently. Back in the day, they got married and they stayed married a long time, knowing that the husband had three or four families, but the women didn't say anything. They kept their mouth shut and they stayed married to him for 50 and 60 years. They did. That the husband had other families. They so did. They're not doing that now, boy, unless they you're Nick Cannon. Ain't doing it no more. <laughs> nope. They, nope, ain't doing that no more. You ain't. That look that Angela got is just man. <laughs> For the most part, a lot of women don't even care to be married. For some reason, this new generation is all. But about I, 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 I beg to differ on that. Well, see, but see, in, in our some age group, group, but the younger no, ones coming up, the younger ones, they, they not nah, feeling that. They don't want that. They're not. They're not feeling they're it because not. they haven't because they haven't seen it. Yeah, because they don't see they don't right. see marriages that they last for, for for years, and they don't yeah. see people in Gen productive relationships. All they see is G generation baby mama over here yeah. and baby daddy over here, and everybody got yeah. everybody got different mamas and different daddies and daddies bringing. That's all they see. They just modeling Gen what they see in their yeah. household. Generation X was the last. Generation X was the last generation. And I meant to and tell in the Gen X, we were the last generation to see mar to see uh, marital relationships. We we're the last generation to see it. Yeah, we were. Yep. Um, yep. And that's something to be said. And then we, I, 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 I'm trying to, at least in my little corner, sound the alarm. Like my friend, girl at at at, at the job, my my coworker at the, at the job. You know. There's nothing can be done by the two the, the two little precious little daughters she got that are here now. There's nothing can be done with that. So what what I said to her was, listen, for some reason, if this relationship with this man with these other kids don't work, the next guy. I know this is not going to be fair to him, but the next guy that comes in, you got to make sure, because now you got to now you 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 don't have the luxury to be just. Oh, I love him, and I'm a hope he do it. The next guy, you gotta know, gotta because sure. he gotta come in and take care of you, and he gotta come in and take care of them little babies. If this thing with this fella don't work out, I said you're already frustrated because he can't help you raise his two kids because his time, his resources are split. Hmm. We can't afford. We're not Nick Cannons. The most of us are not Nick Cannons in the world. Nah. Not at all. The average black man makes 21 bucks an hour. That's it. That's about 40, less than a little bit under $45,000 a year. That's it. We can't take care of no three, four kids on no 45 grand a year. The average black woman makes about 30, I, I think it's like 34. We're talking about 14, 15 bucks an hour. And we're looking at people who makes who money we can't even count that high. Hmm. And, but we're out here having children and getting involved and making decisions on, on basically, you know, on just a middle in class income. You can't split that amongst three, four houses. And if you're a lady, you shouldn't want a man's resources split amongst three or four different houses. They should be split in your house. And I tell every woman, you have every right to demand a level of resources out of your guy. And I told her that you can't, I told her, I said, you can't afford a guy who makes $40,000 a year with them two babies no more. You can't afford a guy like that. You need, you need, you need a 28, $30 an hour guy now, which means a guy that's making that, we're talking about, you know, $60,000 a year. So I said, a guy making 60 grand a year, he's in the, in the top 20%. He gets into that 78. He's in the top, like we said the other day with Kevin, eighty thousand dollars a year. That's the top fifteen percent of the men. They're black. I, I tell our black women all the time: your black man is already predisposed to be that father because we've watched our mothers and our grandmothers raise us alone, or 
there was a different man in the house than that was our biological father or grandfather. We are predisposed to do that. So because we're predisposed to do that, find a way to work with us. I understand we haven't, as, as a group, we haven't always done right by you. But you got a group of men out here. These platforms that are out here right now, I mean, they're, they're doing a lot of what, you know, they're doing a lot of talk about what women ain't doing, what women ain't doing, but it's coming from a place of, I want you now, but I need you to, to work with me. And I'm telling you, I, I, I said a few months ago, there is a movement out here to convince any guy under the age of 30 to not accept a black woman, that she's not worth it. And these brothers are listening to it. These tw- my, I got nephews in okay, that age range. Huh? What's that sound? Yeah. Well, I think our children just have to be trained. I mean, I trained mine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the the uh, first set of children that I had to raise was my siblings. The second set was the three that I birthed. And uh, I don't, I'm not responsible for the um, the third set. They my bonus children. But the, <laughs> but the six children that I was responsible for <laughs> that I raised when they was children, look nine, ten. Yes. I said, do not have children out of wedlock. Yeah. I said, if you do, make sure you have your own money. And, and and they listen, okay? They very successful. The children that I birthed don't have any children. My my oldest is almost thirty. He don't have any children. And, and people the- say oh, your children don't have any children. I said because I put that in them. I said be responsible. You have to train them. I said respect yourself. Respect yourself enough to not just throw yourself out there and and, and just let mm-hmm. have everybody have you. Uh, respect yourself. Know who you are and enjoy life because mm-hmm. in your 20s, you're supposed to travel and enjoy life and, and, and figure out what you want and what and who you are, and all that stuff. Learn who you are not, first. Not a, when you want to settle down, you can get somebody, you know. Get somebody. But, and, 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 go ahead, Flo. And the good word says, train a child in the way you want them to grow and they shall never depart from it. And when you dealing with kids, it's not tell them, it has to be consistency. Consistency because kids learn differently. You know, and if you're not consistent, you're not gonna get through to them. It just has to be, you have to be a tyrant to get through to them what you need them to learn. So as they become yeah. adults, they can heed from it, yeah. you know. There's a group of men, that, you know, I know plenty of men that are like in my age range now, that are looking back, you know, either they're, they've gone through divorces or they've never got anything. And we're telling our women, look, I understand you got some babies. I understand that there, there's another dude and stuff like that. I just want you to be soft. Hmm. The, one, the, one thing that, the one thing about being, um, you know, a baby mama and having to run a household by yourself, it robs you of your softness. Yeah. Our women are turning into men. To the point where, uh, who's shaking your head for? <laughs> Angela shaking it to me. Huh? I know you ain't no one, but I look, 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 look at what Hollywood's trying to do. They made that movie, <laughs> oh my God. They, they made that movie and trying to turn our women into, want, want them to start calling themselves. Ain't, oh, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no such yeah. thing. Ain't no such thing. They only do that to our, our women. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's, and we got a bunch of women out here. Um, mad because men are all in the uproar about the title of this movie. Yeah, 